Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Real Bitcoin's here to stay, and you need to be a part of it. How long do you think it will take to see the financial system collapse? Will you help us to have a plan B or even C in advance? Oh, well, um, here's the thing, right? Um, there's no place to go in the collapse of the financial system. So we have to accept what uh, is going to happen. Um, let's just say when, um, when all the assets start to, to collapse, this is, this, is the, this is what exactly happens. Everybody's gonna have to move into cash. They move into cash. Um, this uh, impairs uh, people who borrowed money against other assets that are dropping in price. And when that happens, that means they can't pay back the bank. And if they can't pay back the bank, the bank goes under, right? And so uh, right now we're gonna have what's called bail-in. So this is why I've told you guys quite a few times that you need to have physical cash, right? To, to survive this, that's the best thing. Another plan, right, is to also have gold. They're gonna hit gold, right? But if you're, if you're planning to save beyond the crash, Gold, Bitcoin, silver, right, are the, the things you want to own, even Ethereum, of course. Um, those, these are some of the ideas that I suggest. Now, I will also suggest because um, uh, that you, you, you purchased like uh, food items. I have like a huge amount of, um, uh, of stored food. Like, for example, I, I'm going to take you guys on a little bit of a trip one time. Um, just outside here, I have a lot of um, freeze dried food. Uh, just in case, because um, there's going to be uh, food shortages. Why is that? Um, there's plenty of food to go around. Um, it's just a matter of price. The problem is governments don't like to see prices of food go up because then they're going to have to get and raise the increase the, the salary of the minimum wage workers. And so if they don't allow the prices of food to go higher, well, then um, then there's going to be shortages. That's just the way it is. Um, you've seen it over and over again in um, different countries whenever they go through hyperinflation or high inflation. So it all depends on the government, what they do. Now, if they allow prices to go up, there'll be plenty of food for everybody. If they do not allow prices to go up, there won't be food for anybody. That's how it works. <laughs>